playing at uh, home, Radoslav, uh, definitely a great way to start with a game against uh, a former world champion, <laughs> Magnus Carlsen. And what a victory uh, that was. Tell us a bit about that game and how did you approach the opening after he surprised you, let's say, with the Polish opening? Yeah, actually he uh, uh, surprised me, but um, it wasn't a uh, surprise uh, uh, per se as I uh, expected a surprise. <laughs> I didn't really know if it will be some sort of a, a Benoni or something like that. But then when he played B5, I just thought, okay, let's play, let's uh, do some uh, normal moves. But my uh, uh, approach was to play active chess. And this, this is what I, what I thought uh, gave, me, gave me a victory because I, uh, I've played actively, especially this move uh, 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 D5, we can let's take go for the yeah. game. Yeah, I thought that when he went uh, bishop e7, if I don't do anything uh, uh, fast, he, he, will, he will just go d6 and uh, castle. And uh, obviously I'm uh, uh, better, but I thought that after d5, I'm uh, the side which is uh, playing for like uh, uh, you feel activity. You want to punish, yeah, this opening. Not like that, know. because he's very, very uh, 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 strong, of course, but yeah. um, when you see something like this, you... Uh, 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 don't want to go for some uh, uh, maneuvering game because uh, if you can go d5 and uh, obviously uh, it looks very nice at first so i thought that uh, why not we had a full uh, uh, audience there so mm -hmm. i thought let's uh, play something uh, let's go for it <laughs> yeah for them and <laughs> and uh, yeah after after that i thought that uh, bishop h6 was uh, uh, important to stop uh, short castle and uh, when he went rook g8, uh, bishop e3 back because now there is no uh, option to uh, uh, short castle. And uh, this uh, position was very, very bad. But, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then... He was defending tenaciously. Of course, right? he's probably yeah. one of the uh, best, best defenders. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, I mean, then, uh, then after bishop f6, uh, this position... I really liked, but then after knight h5, I uh, realized that I have to uh, defend f6 pawn, and I didn't really see exactly how, and uh, that's why I went uh, queen c3, and after rook d8 was very uh, important moment, because uh, my move uh, a3 looks like something which doesn't really strike as a, a good move, but I didn't really see a better one, and uh, the uh, uh, idea uh, is that he is uh, threatening uh, b4. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Before, so let's uh, say you go g3 here. Yeah, if I go something like g3, he goes b4, queen e5, and now he goes d6. Mm -hmm. And I have to go back, let, I mean, let's say here, and then after knight f6, at least he got his... Uh, Things are not clear. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's why, that's why I went for this a3. Uh, which doesn't look uh, 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 impressive, but uh, also it uh, it felt that uh, Magnus simply he, uh, here he uh, doesn't have uh, active uh, moves, mm -hmm. so that's why I thought I can afford it. And then after uh, G3, uh, he went G5 around here. I wasn't sure because uh, obviously with uh, uh, engine is uh, very. Very, very simple. Also, I uh, uh, obviously I knew that I'm uh, winning. So, mm -hmm. but you were also getting down on time, and that yes, must that add was a problem. To no, the the, pressure, the, right? the, yes, yes, yes. Especially that after uh, rook g5, this is the moment I really wasn't sure how to uh, proceed because obviously it looks excellent. Probably there are like many, many moves, but you have to go for one. Yeah, which is uh, you have winning. options. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And it's your enemy uh, right now. Sometimes it's uh, not ideal. Yeah, and. Uh, I decided to go for uh, bishop d3. Probably the best move. Yeah, yeah rook e5 and knight f5. And uh, the thing is that I'm losing f6 pawn, but uh, there are so many threats uh, after queen b4 uh, that I didn't really see how he can uh, defend, especially that after d6, queen c3, uh, f6 is hanging. I thought uh, during the game that maybe he could uh, Play something like knight g8, but uh, obviously, if you have to play knight g8, you know things went wrong. Very, so. very wrong. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I thought that uh, when he went b5, I actually made a very good uh, uh, choice that I should play active because uh, obviously, if I would play some normal uh, uh, game. 
Um, we would uh, maneuver and in the long uh, game, obviously, Magnus, there are not so many players who can uh, play against him. Yeah. So I thought that I should go all in and uh, this uh, worked out. And uh, it wasn't that uh, uh, hard in a sense that uh, obviously uh, 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 D5 is, a, is an idea which actually uh, looks very, very nice. Yeah. So. That was a great decision, initial decision in game one, and that definitely gave you a boost of confidence. After that, I think you, def you defended quite well against Ricci, absolutely no problems with the black pieces. Definitely a successful day one for you. For sure. For and sure. we'll <laughs> see you tomorrow with Thanks. day two. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Christian. And indeed, uh, the standings.